Welcome back to our Grid of Play. I'm your host, Jordan. I'm here with Sarah. Hi, guys. And we've got Shah behind the camera. Look, today, we invited Guma by Guma Prefecture. Sunny, beautiful Guma. First time in Guma? Nah, been here a few times. Ooh, been here a few times. It's my second time in Guma, but Guma's a pretty nice prefecture. It's got a bunch of different, very cool, interesting hidden sites to visit. It's got an onsen. Sally, we're not going to onsen. A lot of onsens, onsens yeah. We're not going to an onsen right now, but we are going to one later today. But first thing today we're doing is... Kogeshi! Kogeshi! Yeah! Yay. Yeah, Kogeshi. Do. Kogeshi is a very traditional craft in Japan for uh, 150 years now. Now it's so, sort of sold as like souvenirs and omiyage and stuff. There's actually one behind us. And over there. And over there. Let's go make one. Let's go. So we've come to Usaburo Kokeshi, which is an amazing facility where you not only can see them make the kokeshi and they sell lots of different types, but you can try and make your own, which is what we've come to do today. And I've never done that. I'm not the most artistic person, but we're going to give it a shot. I'm doing a more modern kokeshi. How about you, Jordan? Are you doing a traditional one? I'm doing a more traditional one indeed. Yes, uh, I have no artistic talent whatsoever. So this would be pretty uh, pretty difficult. I'm aiming for something similar. Station mask. Similar to this. <laughs> an adorable traditional doll. Come back in about 20 minutes. <laughs> a few moments later. I apologize, it's very difficult. I've, I've underestimated how much, how much time this takes. I've done it. I've drawn a straight line. Next step, I'm already onto the painting. Oh, it's yeah. not about speed, but maybe it is. I'm still designing. Flipping hell, Sarah. I have no vision right now. I'm just going with the wind. There is no wind in here. It's really cool if you go upstairs, they have all different types of kogashi. Like they have the first kogashi that there's ever made here. Then they also have really modern ones. Like it's so mind blowing how many types of kogashi are out there. You have to like do the finer details with a smaller paintbrush. So I'm going for pink paws because pink, awesome. We got our kogashi. And we're gonna get a pro to rate them for us. Ready? Onegaishimasu. <笑>私あの、得意ではないですけど、お願いします。正直に引く手も大丈夫です。ま、10点。私も願いします。あ、これも10点です。はい、はい。正直の方が早いから、多分。あれです。コメントダウンベローウィッチワンユーティンクイズ
Ooh. All right, so this is the living space. This is huge. I know, I've, TC went all out. They're like, Sarah, do you want a nice experience? And I was like, yes. They were like, Jordan, just go to Goomba. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, there's really soft cushions. Ooh, I've not even sat down. Oh, actually, I haven't sat down yet. The view looks different. You can see the like outline of the, the mountains and everything. So this room here actually gets transformed into like a futon room. So like you'll go out and we'll come back and it'll be like, Dude, futon. That's so cool. But if you don't want to sleep on futon, they have Western style beds over there. On the way. I've also prepared some tea because I have a guest. Oh, thank Shall you. Shall we dine and sip away? So when you stay at a Dilkan, it's really typical for them to provide you with like the, you know, pot, tea and um, snacks. And I love that about, you know, staying in Dilkan. It's pretty yeah. cool. So apparently a very famous writer from like Tokomi Yorka stayed here during like the Meiji era. Oh. And he was like, he was like so inspired by the Yorkan, he actually included it in one of his novels. So wow. see if you can find the I wonder if it's translated in English. I hope so. Yeah. That would be really cool. I love looking out at the mountains covered in the fog. It's so nice. So, how's the tea? It's good. I just finished. Oh, nice. Now get out. <laughs> See you at dinner. I want to enjoy my room for myself. <laughs> Jordan's back. I'm back. I'm back. I've invaded your room once again because we're having dinner. Sarah's face. Oh, it did so much food. Bloody hell. Tonight, we're I having can't... skiaki, which is a popular winter dish. Mm, so and um, it's basically like fine cuts of meat with veggies and you dip it into raw egg yeah. and it's so tasty. Very cool. I'm liking the variety of dishes you have here. Like that's one of the most fun part about like eating the eating the yoga. Ooh, it looks ready. Oh, oh Jim, real quick. Itadakimasu. 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 Let's dig in. Oh my gosh, creamy, melty, delicious, oh my gosh. I like that they use like the local ingredients mm. and support the farmers and you know, all the people in the area. Mm. Like I think it's really important to, if you come to the region, it's very important to sort of experience what that region has to offer. Mm -hmm. So you have an opportunity to dive into the region, try its local foods, Mm -hmm. they, you know, give your hand to go out the local crafts. It's definitely something to do, especially in Goma. It's a pretty fun place to hang out. Yeah. Try some local crafts, eat some local beef. Shrieking so a beef. Oh, please, eat that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, good morning. I'm just enjoying my beautiful morning bath with this gorgeous view outside. And this is this is like absolutely the perfect way to start my day. I highly recommend it. Or, you know, if it's the evening, a good way to end it. So yeah, come and join me for my morning bath. <laughs> it's actually quite hard to find a private onsen like this in your room. So something like this, which is only an hour outside the city, is such a great like place to get away and spend a time with your friends, family, or even by yourself. Treat yourself sometimes. So yeah, feeling really good and refreshed and ready to explore what this like local area has to offer. So I'll see you soon for that. Come to Yamano Hut, the Omiyagi store connected to the hotel we settled last night. Lots of fun trinkets and knickknacks to look at. Come there, have a look around. I'm so Ugh. hungry now. Me too. What should we eat? Some snacks. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Here are manju. Our show gets it all manju. Shall we eat takimasu? Sure. Ichitakimasu. No, they're not just mon manju though. No, they're no, no, onsen no. manju. So when you come to like an onsen town such as Ikaho Onsen, they often sell these like onsen manju. Interesting about this one, the recipe hasn't been changed in a hundred years, and also apparently it's said that uh, Ikaho Onsen was the place that invented or killed the recipe with the first to make Onsen Manju. <laughs> mm. Alright. Mm. I'm excited to try these. These are fresh. We saw them making them behind us and yeah. It's pretty cool. They're all handmade actually. So you could actually come here, watch the windows, watch some more sort of handcrafted these Onsen Manju. Oh, it's so hot! <laughs> I burnt my tongue. <laughs> That is good. I want to show you how that looks inside. You can see the steam just like piping hot. Mm -hmm. So the uncle inside this, the red bean is so smooth. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder how they get it like so smooth. Like this level, like this quality of sort of handmade mind should be hard to find. So I think it's definitely worth coming to Gumba, grabbing Just a nicer uh, handmade onsen manju. Yeah, I think it's time to keep exploring. I heard there's a shrine right nearby. <laughs> yeah, kind of slow. Shall we go? Mm. Let's want? go. I've got 10 yen. You're supposed to use five, but Ooh. I don't have five. I'm out of five. five. Right. Oh, I do. I have a five. I have a shiny five coin. <laughs> Don't know the order. I do, but I messed it up. Terrible. Can't anyway, confuse the let's try some local ginger ale because oh they've got a funny joke. Ginger ale. But, um, but we're at a ginger shrine. Uh, uh, ginger. Uh, 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 Alright. <laughs> How pretty that is. And he's praying that we get good, good things coming our way. Alright, we've got all our food and drink. Let's go, uh, where should we go? <laughs> Thanks for carrying the various liquids to my log. I'll, I'll start with ginger ale. Does are. Thank you. It's so, pretty rare to find uh, ginger ale, hot ginger ale. In yeah. Japan, right? So like, just to explain what we've got, we've got some hot ginger ale, we have some dango with um, like shiroko, and then you have, what is it? Oden. oden. Miso oden. Yeah. The greatest oden made by man. But what's really rare is I feel like when you come to a shrine, it's not usually like full of shops or like places to buy food. But here, it's super rare. We've got a shop that's selling not only like hot ginger ale, but like you can get your omikuji, which is right here yeah. on our cups. And you want to explain what's so unique about this omikuji? So the interesting thing about omikuji in, in this store is that normally when you get omikuji, it's just sold sort of in like a, a little temple, a little shrine inside the bigger temple. This one is basically sold on the lemonade. All of the uh, omikuji, like sort of fortunes, are handwritten by the, uh, the guy who works there, and then printed and put on all the cups. So all of our olden cups are usually like these dangoshu also has like fortune on them. Then inside them there is a there the is fortune. A fortune. I uh, wait, 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 I, I, I want to go. Come wait, 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 on. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't even had a sip. Let me have a quick sip. With my gold leaves inside, they put it, gold in my ginger. This ale. is amazing. Shall I drink this after? It's delicious. That is that is good. It's not too sweet. It hits a bit of a gingery punch. I'm, glad, I'm so glad it's warm. Oh. But I want to see what my short fortune is. I Did you want? Yet. Did you want? All right. Two, one. Ah! What you I got, got I got oh. that. Dick, dick. Oh, so middle, middle luck, middle big luck. luck. Middle luck. And um, basically what's cool is, so they, he writes like kind of um, dad style jokes. So <laughs> I don't know how to describe it more, yeah. but like a humorous kind of joke, which plays, it's a play on words basically. In Japanese, it's like, like, jinsei ga, like shouga, ari shouga, nai. Just like, shouga, nai is like, can't be helped, but also, shouga is ginger, and ginger is ginger, and ginger is ginger, and shine is ginger. And now That's you get confused. the joke. So let's chill in for a bit. Let's finish our, our, our ginger ale, finish our snacks, read our last fortunes, and head to our next location. Mm -hmm. Only a minute from Kajika Bridge, you can get some fresh onsen water, you can drink it down. Apparently, it's very good for your body, so uh, we're gonna give it a go. So, it's, I've never heard of drinking onsen water before, so I'm a little like nervous. Hesitant, yeah. But um, we've opted for our own cups. The communal cup looked a little <laughs> like used, so. Come by? Come by. It's interesting. I have comments. I, I, I believe there's a lot of iron in this. It tastes but, um, like iron. There's so much <laughs> iron in this. I prefer bathing in onsen water. So <laughs> maybe it's time to find another onsen or something else we can yeah, indulge I agree. ourselves in. All right, next location. We're here at Daimonia to make and Daruma. And taste Daruma. Ooh, go biggie. All right, let's go. Let's go. I have this exact one in my house. Oh. No, this exact one. Because <laughs> I came here nine years ago oh. during, L during a, when I was an international student in Musashi University. So I have literally this exact one that I painted. It's crazy. Oh, that's good that it worked out then. It's amazing, dude. I'm watching me. Yeah. Let's go paint. 
Prof. So you can see here there's an image at the top of the eyebrow. It's a crane. At the bottom we've got a, t a turtle. So, wow, I didn't know that. Did you know that? I did. Well, you've been here. I've been here. They represent <laughs> luck. So I think the crane is a thousand years of luck, and the turtle's ten thousand. Hey, I got it. Nice. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make this better than Jordan and good for myself. I can show you, Ooh, I can do you. art. This is Although, sure wait, wait, but look at this like intricate design. This looks so hard. <laughs> stroke order. Stroke order. It's not that, it's more about the way you're holding the brush. Big, Can I sit next to you? Round. You can't copy his homework. Yeah. Big. And the next you want to get. Yes. I don't know. I just, I had so much hope for this. I was like, I want to make a really cute one, put it on my, like, my bedroom. But I just, I just don't want to touch it. <laughs> So I finished my one. There he is. It's bad. I have a grander respect for how difficult this is to make and why people would want like the perfectly made ones. But since this was made with my own two hands, I, I can't not treasure this. I know exactly what I'm gonna wish for, but I won't tell you. I think the good thing about Aruma is that while it is in one part a lucky charm, it's also a token to keep you accountable. The Aruma stays on your shelf and it watches over you. One I painted, the other eye when your wish is complete, when your task is done. So until that day, it watches with one eye. Once it's done, you paint the other one. It's very much a tool of accountability. Now uh, I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> so Bamboon is actually certified to create traditional crafts such as this Darwa by Guma Prefecture. If you're interested in coming down and painting uh, Duruma for yourself, you know, links, information, description down below. We're in our last location of the day, a tofu restaurant in Guma called Matsumura. Matsumura is fucking fantastic. You got this tofu. So I've got the tofu sauce katsu, which is amazing. Got lots of deep fried tofu, deep fried veggies, some side dishes, miso. How about you? Sarah got to stay in the beautiful onsen hotel room. Jealous. So because of that, I got kind of a better set than Sarah did this time around. Sorry. I got the tofu set. And it comes with a little tofu, uh, what's it called again? Tofu okay. hot pot, tofu navi going on here. Got some sides, some miso, some freshly made tofu made of organic tofu beans. I'm very excited for this one. And of course, I've got a little bit, like a pretty version of your tofu katsu. Yeah. I'm very excited to dig in and try all these different goodies. Itadakimasu! So I think you're meant to pour this on top, but I want to dip it in. The rules, Sarah, the rules. Mmm, <laughs> that's really great. That's so soft. That's good. If I was told to try this like tofu by itself, the organic tofu, before I put anything on it, so I'm gonna give it a go. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. You would love this. It's oh really god. good. Oh my gosh. Hold on. You have a spoon. I am the biggest tofu fan. You're a tofu fiend. I love tofu. So if you're not like a fan of tofu on its own, look, you've got the, the deep fried like crispiness and you've got this beautiful katsu sauce, which is a really rich flavor. I'm gonna try this. For me, I cook a lot. So I like places that have like locally sourced ingredients. This place has a lot of like locally sourced ingredients, um, pesticides in their salads and vegetables, which is kind of why I wanted to eat here. And I wanted to get the big set to try a big range of different things. Should we, uh, should we dig in? Yeah, a little bit. I'm already more. digging in, man. Should we dig in even more? The main show of the day, I'm gonna give this a go. It's the nave. I've got my giant nave spoon. Lay it on. Get my toe. Go for it, mate. Oh, wow. Super light sauce, very light dashy. Works really well with the tofu. Now, I'm a man that likes light flavors. A light stock, a little bit of tofu, that's all I need. It's been a fun time in Gunma. Oh my gosh. Sarah, what was your favorite part of Gunma? Oh, everything's been so good, but I really like the onsen. But this is actually something I really enjoyed. Second place? Tofu fan, yeah. Pretty good? Onsen and tofu. Ah, for me, this is the tofu has been bloody fantastic. Like I would definitely come back just for this, but I'm gonna say, Daruma. 
because it was a, it was kind of a challenge, but it was very fun. I enjoyed painting it and seeing all the cool designs was very, very interesting. Yeah. Guys, so we're going to leave you there. We're going to sit here, finish our meal as we head back to Tokyo. But once again, let's thank our sponsor, Guma Prefecture. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in any of the spots we went to, they're all part of the Gunma Excellence and we have all the links down below, so check them out. Yeah. And let us know what you would like to try in Gunma mm -hmm. and what your favorite spot was. If you want to see more of our adventures in Japan, hit that subscribe button, maybe slap that bell really hard, you know, give us a follow and let us know. We'll let you know what's going on you know, in Japan. Great, right. yeah. see you next time. Bye. Until then, bye. Stay. Also, there's a cat there. We're lucky. This changes everything. I'm sorry, I'm leaving you for the cat.